TV! Boo. Ah! There you go. Coming to surprise you. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, she's all ready to go then. Nice. Yeah, no, it's come up really good. Really good. What the hell's going on here? Um, I'm going to do a different thing. Oh, that, that'll be something special. It's another. Nice. That's some more people. It's Jason triggering people. Yep, that's yeah. it. All good. Just is all about mounting the weirdest thing in the weirdest car. Alright. This one the Ute. Oh, it's right out here. It very likes the AU Falcon. Hey, you. Me. You get the heavy thing, I'll get the light thing because I'm broken. I've always wanted to own a supercar. Look. Super cab. Yeah. It's like a Lamborghini but without the Lamborghini bit. Shiny. Alright, alright, cool. Jumper pack, car full of crap. It's even got central walking, look at that. Who else but Jason would put a coyote into a bloody VN Commodore? Anyone want to buy a Fox body? Front door chime. So yeah, this is the Fox body selling cheap too. So that's Perry Martin, who you'd know also from the band Coldplay. Um, hey. <laughs> yeah, Chris Martin's brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My bro. Yeah. Can you pull the... Pull your box? Pull my box. I nearly needed it. Alright, uh, not very exciting, but um, the AVM hubs on the front of this, they were from Mark's full drive originally, and um, the reason I put them on is because it's got a Mark part-time full drive kit in it, which means that you can turn the car from being full-time full drive to having freewheeling hubs on the front. But the thing is, is that with these, the gaskets in them do compress over a while, and you take them in and out a few times, they'll start to tend to weep. But the good thing is, is that you can, for those hubs, get a rebuild kit under the shadow here so it comes with all the new gaskets and also all new bolts because they've got these weird sort of tapered torque speed bolts in them and the AVM people from Brazil of all places even send you new stickers to make them look all pretty again exciting Here we have the native Perry installing the differential. Do you want a hand? <laughs> More of this awesome stuff. Perry likes a good squeeze. We have a diff in, axles in, 10 mil studs, and all I'm gonna have to do here is because the hubs are slightly smaller in the 80 series, is take the skim off this washer here. So I'll do that afterwards, just gonna check and make sure everything works, but everything's all sealed up, ready to go. So we're gonna fire it up and see what happens.
it runs, the back wheels turn around, forwards and backwards, and we are happy. So just a couple of little tickle ups to do here. Just a um, quick update on other stuff that's happening in the car. We'll have this here. Thanks to Burson, this is a uh, Blackhawk, not Blackhawk down, but a Blackhawk diff breather kit. So this is actually a breather kit which works on the diff front and rear and also breathes the transmission and the transfer case and it goes to this little manifold here so I'm gonna grab a light and see if I can show you and also here right under the light here it's a terrible spot this is all the gear for the harrop so we've got the light, uh, the switch to go on the dash turn the locker on and off and full instructions nice hardcore heavy duty wiring and uh, yeah all that needs to be done now as well but uh, one thing after that but the main thing is now is we can uh, get this all sorted and get it back on its wheels and hopefully turn it around so so here we go underneath so diff breather kit didn't really bother installing and showing the install because it's not the most exciting thing but as you can see there that is the diff breather comes a nice new push fittings there and nice curly one for big big lift kitted cars and then runs nice hard lines all the way in it's all stashed nicely away there comes down the chassis rail we'll see if we can do that and then up under all the nice car builders heat shielding and there's your front one as well next all the marks braided lines and that it also runs which you can't really see but it's got all the breather lines up off the transmission and transfer case so i'm going to get up here and see if i can show you the manifold part i don't make old man noises getting up and then that's all tucked in nicely away the one off the front diff comes in up around in amongst all the hoses and wiring there and then up here that's a little manifold and what that does is if you're running a snorkel that breathes off there into the side of the airbox neato and there's no leaks we're pretty happy Things. Hold my monster. Got it. Frank is alive. Too loud for you? No. <laughs> Hurry up, boxer. God sakes. Four hours later, that's just to climb into it. And then it doesn't start.
in the sun and it's a beautiful day today so thankfully it's not raining although i have been in the car the other day and filled up inside all the panels with cavity wax uh, even though i'm pretty sure i got paint in everywhere where we welded it but um just to be sure so the car now is on the tow truck it's going to advance headers i'm going to meet the guys there in a bit and we're going to nut out what's happening with the exhaust system and then after that hopefully on monday we'll go on a plan uh, it's going to go to Petters to get the wheel alignment checked out and uh, yeah and then we'll just start ticking the list off things to do so yeah it's a good day I'm talking to a gopro again See, I'm, I'm always walking around talking to myself like this like an idiot yeah Stalking Ryan's car. Important part of the exhaust job, ordering a Euros <laughs> for lunch. Yeah, yeah, what are we having? Combo AB. Combo AB 24. for this guy. <laughs> and a lamb Euros for now. Oh, nice. Always healthy around here. Nice. So quick update, I'm probably going to leave these guys to it because I'm sort of just buzzing around with a camera and sticking it in their face all the time. But um, yeah, they've pretty much got half the system done, it's joined up underneath, uh, got the 2 and a 1 there and then they're going to come back over the diff and there's some sort of pipes out the back. Should all look pretty good but um, yeah, it's all looking nice, the stainless welding's mint. Yeah, it's like these guys do it every day. Should be good. Can't wait to hear what it sounds like. So it sounds cool without the exhaust on it, but um, kind of helicopters are like that. So yeah, leave them to it. What have you got, mate? Is that Christmas present? Now the torch. Oh, it's hundred dollars worth of torch. Yeah. I'll just leave it in there. Now, just uh, lean on the car there and look sexy. Looks sexy like I do. All right. So this is the man here, Ryan. So tell us, uh, what have we done to the car? Uh, ceramic coated headers, uh, twin two and a half, high flow cats, all stainless steel, uh, tick welded mandrel vent. Uh, into a single three and a half, uh, straight through glass pack mufflers, two of them. Sounds really nice, up and over the diff. Turned out really well in the end. And so what is it about something like this? I mean, these headers are a, a one-off design by you guys for LS Land Cruiser? Yeah, we designed them specifically for the LS conversion for the Land Cruiser, using all the Mark's 4 drive gear. Um, we did a lot with Mark's 4 drive. Uh, good guys, good bit of kit. Um, they fit really nicely in there, as you said, when you fitted them, dropped straight in. Uh, ceramic coating works really well as well. There's no downside to it. To, it looks a million bucks. Works really well. Keeps the engine bay temps down. Yeah, yeah. And a couple of nice little cats there for the. Uh... Keep the lawman happy. Euro yeah. 4 cats, a pair of them in there. Um, all nice and shiny, polished stuff. And uh, I know the, uh, the old boss is over there, but give us a quick just a bit of history about advanced headers and wh how long you've been around for and oh. what, do you, what do you love doing? Long time now, 30 years uh, roughly, ballpark. Um, Michael started it, um, I'm here still, working away hard, he's still here working away hard. And, uh, mainly headers, mainly headers, um, but uh, started getting into a lot of the custom fabrication on the exhaust side of stuff now as well. I see, yeah, there's always something cool on the hoist getting an exhaust done, so what's, what's going on up there? Uh, nice GT Falcon, um, got a set of our headers on there off the shelf, custom twin two and a half inch decent on that one too. So. Nice. Something nice, always something nice, and uh, yeah, cool. good, working on nice cars, can't complain. 
And uh, speaking of nice cars, well, it's my car, but I'm actually looking forward to taking Ryan for a spin in this one. It's all done. Looking forward to getting in it. <laughs> Sounds like a beast. Looks like a beast. Hopefully, hopefully before summer nights, but yeah. Hopefully it goes yeah. like a beast. Yeah, oh, I think it will. Should be fun. So, no, nah, thanks Should heaps. And uh, yeah. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the build. And if you need headers for a Land Cruiser or anything else, here's your man. Hit me up. How cheesy was that? <laughs>